Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. I'm Kasha Rupak with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create uh, this uh, effect inside the sun of 4D. So let me show you what I'm gonna create now. So, so as you can see here, uh, we're gonna create, recreate this all again and so it's only work in Sanma 4D Art 1 if you have a previous version of Sanma 4D so you need to quit this video because it's not gonna work with previous version because we need a new feature Field Force which only release inside uh, Art 1 so let's start so we are choose this uh, 3D text or you can use any 3D geometry so I'm gonna use this uh, end tag for my project instead of here. So you can anything, you can use anything. So here we have our object. So let's start with uh, creating a volume builder. So go in volume, create a volume builder layer and drag and drop your 3D object under your volume builder. So as you can see here, now we have a volume of our 3D object. So click on volume builder and change volume type to from sign distance field to vector. So just change voxel size to 2. The next thing we need to create a field here. Just click on field and add a random field. So if you are not familiar with what is what field is, so it's a new feature uh, which released uh, recently inside the R uh, R20, Sanma 4D R20. Now it also have uh, in R1. So now we have a random field. Just uh, drag and drop your random field under your volume builder. So now as you can see here, we have this square, uh, this is a random field square, so make sure this square covers your all 3D object, otherwise it's not gonna work. So uh, how we cover, how we scale up this uh, random field, so just click on volume builder and click on random field here. So here you find, if you scroll down here you find a uh, coordinate, so it's coordinate now you change the scale and uh, position of your random field so we just increase the scale a little bit which cover our whole 3d object so and just like that and now we just increase the y axis and take it up make sure it cover all your 3d object otherwise it's gonna miss some parts uh, where your random field you don't have random field on your 3d object so it makes particle system on that part i hope you understand sorry for my bad in english so we just increase our depth also and here we go so now but, now it's cover our whole 3d object next thing is just duplicate our 3d object and take out from our volume builder and we just hide volume builder for now so here we go now next thing we need to add a field this is the main our main uh, layer inside our whole scene field port it's only uh, you only find this field inside the Sanma 4D R21 release. So you didn't find it in any previous version of uh, Sanma 4D. So we just add a field for. And now we just hold our volume builder layer and drag and drop under our field object tab. So when you drag and drop, and here you find two options point object or volume object just click on volume object so change the velocity type from add to velocity to a set absolute velocity so just 
we center our field field here field for the method next thing we need to add a metric so if you i hope you familiar with metric from more graph so we have a metric and we just change metric more from grid array to object and drag and drop your select your object as your 3d geometry as object as you can see here we just select our 3d geometry as our object so we have a different boxes because it's now a distribution set to surface so just leave it as it is so we just increase our count rate from 20 to 200 and we just generate thinking particles and add a tp group particle group from simulate thinking particle tp settings and add this all particle group inside your tp group test so next thing as you can see here now uh, you see plus little plus sign white color plus sign this is a particle which generated with the matrices so we just hide our matrices for now now next thing we need to add a tracer so it's also from more graph tab just click on tracer and in tracer uh, in trace link we need to also add a thinking particle group uh, here we just simple drag and drop our this group under our tracer next thing we need to create little bit expresso uh, expresso for our scene so just create a null object and right click on it coin program uh, programming tag click on expresso so add a p pass from thinking particle as pizza and also add force object so it's also uh, only you find inside the cinema 4d r21 you didn't find it in uh, any old version because it's only released in r21 right now so if you click on p pass inside the expresso so you find here a group tab a parameter tab where you need to add a particle group so we do same like before just go and simulate thinking particle tp setting and drag and drop here now we just connect our we need a uh, what e force object uh, node do so you can add any uh, random uh, forces from the outside of expresso like deflector attractor any this field uh, you can use with your particle system so we're gonna use our Field force for now, we just hold our field force layer and drag and drop inside this P, P force object. So as you can see here, now we connect this force. Now, if you hit play, as you can see here, so you find the little movement. As you can see here, there is a little movement. So, how we increase the speed? So just go in field force and change your strength to 50 I hope 50 so as you can see here so it's increased a little bit and one thing we are missing here when you go in volume builder make sure you change the random field mode from normal to cross it's the main point why we don't get our now if you hit play so well uh, as you can see here it's gonna work so how we change the shape or we can give them really good look so first if you want to increase the speed just increase as a trend oh, sorry so as you can see here it's uh, speed is increases so now for the shape just click on random field and change the noise type to from Perlin to anyone and make effect happen when you increase the scale so if we have uh, change it to 800 so as you can see here so it gives you really cool result because the frame so 
as you can see here you get really cool and awesome result or you can add more songs so if you play so you can get more supplies so there we go now next thing we need to make uh, we need to make it renderable if you render it you find nothing there is a two way you can do that one by rendering through hair material so if you go in rendering and hair tags and click add a render tag on your tracer object now if, if you click on render so you find a hair, hair material so if you just create a, a material mode I think find a new feature what the heck is that material where is hair material extension sorry they change the icon new hair material just add this on your tracer change the color we change it to yellow and something like my gone as you can see here we get cool effect we just add an equation so this is a one uh, way to render your tracer and the other way you can render it through a supply so a sweep now so if you don't know what is sweep I hope you understand what is sweep so just add a sweep extruder and take your tracer under sweep and create another object uh, which you want to give a shape on the supply we're gonna use end side for now and take tender tracer so as you can see here we have now 3d geometry on our tracer we just scale down our end side okay. one Oh, just point three. Okay, that's looking great. Or point four, and we add a little bit detailing. them smooth look what we do here we just add a smooth uh, deformer there is a smooth deformer smoothing smoothing and we just select both this layer and add it into a group as you can see here when we do this so it's gonna smooth your all polygon for this make also make it thick so what we're gonna do here we just decrease as the strength so as you can see here it's looking great we make a little bit scale up our end side from 0.9 so it's looking great so let's render it we click on render so as you can see here you can get cool objects so i hope you like this video if you didn't subscribe my channel subscribe it now so please share it with your friends and if you want to donate something just go on my website i just mentioned the link under description and do whatever you want thanks for watching bye bye